congratulations. congratulations. It's always a bittersweet time for us saying farewell to one class as they graduate, but we know it's the start of an exciting new chapter for you guys, and we're very excited to hear what you'll do next. So please keep in touch with us, whether you end up in a career in archaeology or some completely different walk of life. And you know I always love my Facebook posts, so if you have anything exciting to report, you know where I am. And very well done to Dr. Michael as well on getting graduating with his PhD today. Many congratulations for your graduation. I'm proud of you guys. Well done. Just want to say a huge, much deserved congratulations to you all. All your hard work has definitely paid off. Really hope you enjoyed your time studying with us and that you're leaving with some fond memories. I miss all you guys since I retired at Christmas and thank you very much for coming along to my do. You've had a hugely difficult term but you've done magnificent in your results. I was really, really happy when Eileen sent to me there a few days ago. All of you got what you deserved and what you expected and some of you did very, very well indeed. So I'm delighted for you all and wish you all the very best in the future. Well, I guess you're not going to forget to find me your your degree programme in a hurry. It's been great having you with us. Wishing you all the very best for the future. Hi guys, just wanted to say congrats on your graduation. You're the first cohort since I've come to Queen's that I've seen from day one of your degree. So you were all starting first year at the time that I started in Queen's and you're all graduating now. So it's incredibly nice and, and rewarding to, to see a cohort go the full way through from, from their degree. So um, I've really enjoyed having you for the for the, the three years in any of the classes I've taught and I wish you all the best to look over the next couple of years. Congratulations everyone for this great achievements. I wish you all the best for the future and I hope to see you soon. Congratulations to all of you graduating this summer of 2020. I know these have been a few unusual and challenging months for all of you, but you've come out of it at the other end okay. Well done. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Well done on all your hard work and best wishes for the future. Hey guys, congratulations on your big day. We're all super proud of you. Good luck for the future and remember to always wear your sunscreen and uh, if in doubt, it's probably ritual. I was once told that a PhD is no more than a key to a door. At the time, while I was in the midst of battling through the darn thing, this felt like a distinctly hollow achievement, yet it has stuck with me. A degree gives you access. You've earned the right to go through that door. Be proud of what you've achieved. Be adventurous as you explore what comes next. Many congratulations. I have found that doing archaeology has opened doors to take me to places I never dreamed of. But I can tell you that every three or four years the world changes utterly and we all find different opportunities. And in archaeology you will find things that will take you places you never thought. Um, you are you're now equipped with ideas and skills and uh, an understanding of a wider world that most people do not have. In 20, 30 years time you'll be looking back at this year and your graduation and wondering what it was that you took with you from your experience at Queen's. So thank you for being students with us. It's been lovely teaching you. Enjoy your evening. I chose to study archaeology because I wanted a career that I could be excited about and enthusiastic about. And archaeology is exciting and it's a bit of an adventure. It's a, it's a, a form of time travel almost, you know, you get to um, look into the everyday lives of past peoples, whether that be through the layout of their homes to the pots that they used to cook in or even the physical remains of the people themselves. It's, um, it's creating a connection to those past peoples. Through studying archaeology at Queen's I've met a lot of uh, great people, uh, my fellow classmates and the staff are all Excellent. Um, there has been so many memories made. It's hard to choose the most memorable um, from walking through those huge doors. 
at the Elmwood building and up the stairs to encounter the legend that is Finbar McCormick. He's sitting with his flannel shirt and his corduroys and his messy hair telling me that everything was going to be okay and that if I ever had any kind of an issue or problem just to give him a shout and he would sort it out and true to his word he did. He has been fantastic. One of the highlights was the training excavation module and afterwards we were able to volunteer on digs so I got to work on a excavating a Neolithic tomb in the Glens of Antrim, uh, Bronze Age houses in Sligo and a Benedictine monastery in uh, Downpatrick beside the cathedral. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't change any of it. I think whether it was well, maybe a poor result on an essay or maybe I should have done things differently in, in some of the assessments or you know in that, in that part of the program I think um, I still wouldn't change it I think you learn from every experience whether that be a positive experience or a negative experience I think you learn from it and honestly I have really really enjoyed being a student at Queen's and I've enjoyed the learning and I don't think, no, I wouldn't change any of it. Next on the agenda is a master's degree, I think. Um, I'm going to apply for the MRES and then hopefully on to do a PhD to get funding. Just even knowing that I'm graduating is a great feeling. It uh, makes, makes all the efforts worthwhile. Um, uh, I plan to return for a postgraduate study and uh, see whether that takes me, whatever more opportunities arise. Hello everyone. Firstly, I want to say a huge congratulations to you all in your graduation. You've worked hard for at least three years to get here today, so I hope you're able to enjoy it despite our current circumstances. I'm a graduate from the Archaeology Department at Queen's 25 years ago now, and I've been lucky enough to work in archaeology ever since then. Your archaeology degree has opened up a world of opportunities for you. Think of all those wonderful archaeological sites just waiting for you to excavate. The research breakthroughs for you to discover the unique artefacts you could conserve, the ruins you could help repair, or the prehistoric sites you could inspect. Your graduation from Queen's today is the first step in your career. There may be days when you're sitting in freezing cold mud or standing in a storeroom with hundreds of dusty boxes of artefacts, and you may wonder why on earth you're doing it. But your degree in archeology span can help you get that job where the joy and the excitement of the unexpected discovery never goes away. Well done on your hard-earned achievements, and I hope you have a fabulous graduation day. To be an archaeologist, enthusiasm is essential. If you want to be there, life will be much easier for all concerned. Hard work and trying conditions is part and parcel of archaeology, but it can be difficult to muster enthusiasm for site work in the middle of a midwinter downpour. However, with archaeology, you never know what you're going to encounter. Possibly something that changes the perceived wisdom in our discipline, an incredible responsibility and privilege. You are the first person who has seen or touched that artifact since it was deposited. Experience comes with time, and if you don't know how to do something, always ask. No one worth worrying about will think less of you. Develop a specialism. If you are versed in one of the myriad of archaeological disciplines, your services will be in greater demand. Learn from those who have gone before. However, you may be the one to change how things are done, to so stand your ground, but justify your reasoning. Archaeology is the gateway to a fascinating, varied and entertaining life, which will leave you with memories, experiences and relationships that will remain with you for a lifetime. So congratulations, graduates, and welcome to Archaeology. I really hope that you enjoyed your undergraduate studies. I know I certainly did. So much so, in fact, I returned to Queen's for my Master's and my PhD. While I left Queen's in 2016, I've always felt like I can return, whether it's to see former colleagues, attend a conference or catch up with old friends. And I really hope that you feel the same because you'll always be welcomed back to Queen's. 
I want to wish you all the luck in the world as you make the transition from university to the career of your choice. I know it can seem daunting, but remember you do have the skills to strive for your dream job and you have the degree to prove it. Congratulations, well done. You should be immensely proud of yourself. Um, I'm very pleased, I was very pleased to be asked by Professor Murphy to say a few words to you today on this fantastic day of your graduation. I didn't study archaeology myself, I did ancient history at Queen's uh, some three decades or more ago and it has held me in fantastic stead uh, uh, ever since. And whatever career you go on to do, whether it is in heritage, whether it is in archaeology or anything else, an understanding of the past uh, will help you so much and help you to uh, be able to interpret uh, the modern world. It's been very important to me. Uh, it has given me a career, uh, first of all, working at the Navin Centre, then with the National Trust, and now with the uh, uh, Heritage Fund. Uh, and I wish you tremendous success in the rest of your career and really, really hope that you'll remember today and all that you've achieved and celebrate it greatly. Thank you very much indeed.